So I've been asked, uh, what is my process for coming up with ideas uh, for things to write about, for videos to shoot, uh, just for content in general? Uh, what's the magic formula? How do you come up with ideas? I don't think the way that I do it is anything special, but I will share it with you in this video, talk a little bit about idea generation and creation, and uh, just some real practical things that I do to help me in that process. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Tony Barnett. Thanks for stopping by to watch this video. Uh, here at the channel, we talk about creative influence in the modern context, and we do that a couple ways. Sometimes we talk about creative philosophy, and sometimes we talk about practical things that you can do uh, in the realm of social media, and specifically YouTube. Today, we're going to talk about uh, a little bit the philosophy of creativity, and then also some practical things to generate ideas. So I generate ideas in a couple ways. Primarily, my creative outlet right now is YouTube, and I am making YouTube content in the cruise ship niche, the sub-niche of travel. And so most of the videos that I make revolve around things dealing with cruises, cruise ships, cruise news, cruise tips. And then when my wife and I go cruising, we make videos on the cruise ship. We do cruise vlogs. So when it comes to idea creation, I actually use those things that I just mentioned as qualifiers. There's so many things to think about in the world. There's so many ideas that you could have to create. But if you are doing content creation in a certain niche, when you're working on your idea generation, you should think in the terms of what is popular and what people wanna see in the niche that you're creating content. There's a couple real simple ways that you can go and see what the most popular videos in a niche is. Uh, go to the biggest creators and go to their video page and sort the video page by the most viewed to the least viewed and make yourself a list of what videos have the most views. That's gonna give you a good idea of what people are looking for from people that make content in that niche. I've done it with our own channel. Our most popular video is a cruise tips video. And so that tells me that people are out there looking for cruise tips. One of our next most popular videos is a ship tour, which means when you go on a cruise ship, people want a tour of the ship. And then uh, people like cruise shopping. We have a popular video that's all around my wife and I going cruise shopping. And so there it helps narrow down my idea creation. Uh, right now on the Lalita Loca YouTube channel, we're doing 31 cruise tips in a row. We're preparing to go on another cruise and I could have done 31 daily vlogs. I could have done 31 stories about cruise ships, but keeping in mind that some of the most popular, uh, and, and when I say popular, the reason that it's popular is because people wanna see it. And so part of what I wanna do is I wanna put my individual spin on content that people are wanting to see. That way the, the content has the most impact. It's something that people wanna see and it gives me my ability to put my own spin on it. And so knowing that one of the most popular content types in the cruising niche is cruise tips, it was an easy decision to make that 31 day count up uh, be all around cruise tips. And I tell you what, uh, from a, a different perspective, uh, there's so much feedback about how the cruise tips help people with their cruising experience. And so it's a little, uh, <laughs> it's a little dual purpose for me. Not only do I get the satisfaction in knowing that I'm making videos that people are looking for that they want to watch, but then there are also videos that are helpful. And I get this feedback that the stuff that we're putting out there, the information that we're putting out there is actually helping people in their daily lives. So that's a, that's a double plus for me when it comes to creating content. So the thing that I do that helps me out tremendously is I am a big advocate of uh, notebooks and writing with pen and paper. I've tried to get away from the analog activity of using pen and paper and go completely to uh, computers, but I still like to write everything down and I am a big advocate of the brainstorm session. So for example, this exercise where I wanted to make uh, these cruise tip videos, I knew I needed 31 videos. And so I spent about uh, half an hour, an hour, uh, and I need to do it again because I didn't end up with 31, but I just started writing down ideas that I had for cruise tips. And then uh, I flesh those ideas out, and when I start to make videos, these are gonna be little sub points around the videos. But this actually becomes my tool. This is my creativity tool. So let me pull it together, see if I can make it uh, even a little clearer. For me, uh, my thought process is all about building a frame in which to create. And so that frame may be researching uh, what's popular in the niche that I'm creating. And then I do my brainstorming, my idea creation inside of that frame. 
And so I spend a lot of time very specifically thinking about cruise tips. And then I have a, you know, a list of cruise tips that I can now go through and say, okay, I think there's a video there. I don't think there's a video there. Let me flesh that out further. But the interesting thing is if I hadn't built that frame and said, I'm just going to brainstorm inside of cruise tips, I could have been like, oh, well, let me think about this next shopping video or maybe let me think about this next uh, ship tour video. So yeah, the mental exercise for me is building that frame, deciding where I want my creativity to go. And then my brainstorming effort is I just write numbered list and I write until I can't write anymore. And then I make myself sit there for at least five minutes before I give up on it. And I usually end up with a decent list that I can now start building my ideas out of. Again, it's not magic uh, and I don't know that it works for everybody, but that is my process. Question for the comments is this, what do you do to come up with your ideas? Uh, do you wait for inspiration? Do you attack it with a process? Uh, what are some tips that you could share that we can share with each other in the community? Appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Again, my name's Tony Barnett. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. And if you're interested in what I'm doing over in the cruising content space, go check out the La Lita Loca YouTube channel. Again, can't say enough thanks for stopping by and uh, we'll see you on the next video.